Can we please have some tea and... Oh no! <gasps> zombies again! <laughs> Previously on Troom Troom Select. I am you. <laughs> their lives, the brave zombie buster gave the girls a chance to save themselves and they managed to get out of the bunker. What'll happen next? Who knows? Only one thing is clear. Their strength is running out. They don't have any food and this forest is so dangerous. Brr! It's so cold here! Maybe they should build a shelter to stay in overnight. The girls gather some branches. Good thing there are so many building materials in this forest. They put a huge stick on a tree. Make sides. Put sticks on both sides of the slope as close to each other as possible. Cover the top with small branches with leaves. This'll hide them from the zombies for now. The hut is ready. Hurry up, hide in here. Wow, it's so cozy. It's a shame we don't have any heating. The sun goes down and it just gets colder and colder. Brrr. Oh, my favorite pajamas, how I miss you. Maybe a candle made out of some of these supplies will help us warm up. We need some empty soda cans. Cut a square hole in one of the cans. Cut the top part off of the other can. Put a stand inside the can. Now roll up a piece of natural fabric. Wrap it in a piece of tin. Get some vegetable oil. Pour some of it into the can. Now put the stand back and put a wick in the hole. Light the candle. Finally! Soon the can will heat up and we can warm our frozen hands. We also have a light source, which is always a bonus in the dark forest. Now that we have warmed up a little, we can fall asleep in our new temporary home. But evil never rests. A zombie smelled the survivors and it's already on its way. Quiet, quiet! Our cover's been blown! Oh my god, he's about to destroy our hut! We need to run for our lives! Now! They scramble out of the hut and try to hide in the woods. But the zombies follow them tirelessly. It's about to catch us! There's no other way out! We have to defend ourselves! We'll need weapons! It's a good thing Jane has a special zombie shooter. You'll need a wide tube and an elastic band. Attach the rubber band to the pipe with a zip tie. Tighten to make sure the elastic band doesn't slip out. Sharpen some chopsticks. Now put a dart in the tube and pull it with the elastic band. Release it quickly! There it goes! Ready? Aim! Fire! Reload! <laughs> The target has been destroyed! After several accurate shots, the Walking Dead isn't walking any longer. Quick! Let's run before a whole crowd of zombies figures out what we've done! The girls escape the forest onto a wide road. Oh look! Buildings! We must be close to a city! Let's see! What is there? They roam the deserted streets, but the city seems to have died out. Wait, why did I say seems to have? The girls sit on a bench. Listen, it's so quiet at the playground. I'll never get used to the idea that there are so few survivors left. Oh wait, what's that? It looks like a remote control. And here comes a toy car. How weird that the batteries are still working. Maybe we should take it with us. I think it might serve us well. Even when you are sneaking through an empty alley, never forget that there might be a whole horde of hungry zombies around the corner. So they don't run into trouble, the girls use a selfie stick. Take a mirror out of an old makeup compact and get a regular selfie stick. Put the mirror into the phone holder on the selfie stick. Adjust it so you can see better. Just stay safe. To see who's hiding around a corner, take out the selfie stick and look in the mirror. Now you can walk around the city and no one will notice you. All right, we're good. Let's keep going. 
The girls make it to a grocery store. Yay! I hope there is some food left here. The girls are starving, but they have to stay safe. They look in the mirror first. Oh no, there's a whole group of zombies in there. Is this a zombie school reunion? They are all over the place. But getting food is very important. We have to get inside. To distract the zombies, the girls come up with a sneaky trick. They'll need an RC car and a few cans. Tie a rope to the top of the can. Connect the ropes and tie them to the car. Make the car move with the remote control so it runs away. The rattling cans make the zombies go crazy. A whole crowd of zombies runs out of the store and chases the noises. The girls are so happy they succeeded and they go inside. Whoa, look at all this stuff. What should we take first? This should last us for a long time. Oh, here comes the cashier. And this is the perfect cashier for selling food during a zombie apocalypse. It's a zombie cashier. Let's run away. <laughs> Cardboard boxes are extremely useful. That's enough boxes for now. Tape the cardboard pieces together. Put the box back in its original shape. Glue the walls. Get inside and make great camouflage suits. Make holes for eyes so you can see where you are going. What a great idea! It's hard to walk through a whole group of zombies. The girls manage to get through in short sprints. Zombies only notice moving things, so they stop and pretend to be regular boxes. Phew, I think we made it. There aren't any zombies around, so the girls take off their cardboard outfits. While they hide, they try to charge their phone. What can they use to charge it? There hasn't been any electricity for days. You'll need four AA batteries and a charging cable. Remove the insulation with a utility knife. Separate the wires and cut off the excess. Connect the batteries with isolating tape. Connect the plus and minus of the middle batteries with wire. Put wire on the plus and minus of the outer batteries. Put the cable in the phone socket. Look, the phone is on. It worked. There's no internet, but maybe we can catch a radio wave. Maybe we can find survivors. We did it! We did it! There's a survivor camp nearby. We just have to find the shortest way to get there. Let's follow the signal. The girls can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and now they have hope. But suddenly, their signal fails. There's interference and noise. Turn off the phone, quick. Panic never helps anyone, but we are too scared to stay strong. The zombies follow the noise and get to the girls. How did they find us so quickly? The zombie throws herself at Lily and tries to eat her arm. Good thing Lily is experienced and knows how to stay safe. Her arm is in a special anti-zombie sleeve. Wrap the forearm and hand with saran wrap. Make a few layers. Be sure to protect the fingers. Wrap it with wide tape. Cut it and get an unusual glove. Take some rope. Make holes in the edges using a nail. Lace it through. Done! While Lily is fighting the zombies, Jane decides to join in. She has a crossbow. How could she forget? You need a few sticks of different sizes. Put one of the sticks on the side. Install the second one at an angle. Hammer in some nails to keep them secure. Then take a rubber band and a clothespin. Hammer nails along the edges. Attach a rubber band to each one. Take a small piece of fabric. Attach a rubber band on each side. Nail a wooden clothespin to the crossbow handle. Tighten the elastic band and pin it in the center. Load a rock into the crossbow. Squeeze the clothespin and the rock flies away! Watch the 
They have hit the zombies a couple times. Jane grabs her friend and they run away. But that won't be easy. They are being chased by a whole crowd of zombies. It's like every zombie in the city came to join the fight. They are flooding the streets and chasing the girls. There are too many of them. We gotta run. But there's nowhere to run. The girls run to a parked car. But it's locked. They check another one and it's open. The girls hide in the car and zombies surround it on all sides. They're so scary. There's no key. We're going to die here. We can't get out. And the zombies are about to break the windows. We're stuck. It's a trap. I'm so scared. What will happen next? Will the girls be able to get free? Find out in the next episode of the Zombie Apocalypse series. Did you like our new episode about zombies? Comment below what you'd do if you were in a zombie apocalypse. Like this video if you can't wait for the next episode. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any updates from Troom Troom Select.